name is Jesse, welcome to Car Power Gaming, the amazing show that you watch because, well, it's on the internet. We got some more Dragon Ball Z stuff for you. It's going to be awesome, uh, as I've been hinting to. Uh, we have the Fuse Masu, Corrupted God, today for our deck profile. And I really can't wait to get into this, guys. I've been super excited to play this. Like, you have no clue. Like, I, I wanted to build a deck and stuff, and, I, and I've seen some people's builds, and they've had some awesome ideas, too. So definitely... Um, I'm gonna link some of their channels so you guys can check out their videos as well and kind of see how they differ Um, the, the core of the deck is pretty much gonna be the same, but oh man I'm super excited to finally get this out to you guys So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the fuse of Masuda profile If you guys like this profile, please remember to comment like and subscribe smash that like button Let's see if we can get a hundred likes. That'd be awesome guys. Here we go So obviously first off we have the fuse of Masu. Uh, his ability is once per turn you choose a card in your life Put it into your drop area and then you get to draw a card if that card was blue Obviously, it's gonna be blue because well it's a mono blue deck, and yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, when your life is at two or less, you can flip him over. So when we flip him over, he becomes corrupted. Absolute God fuse Zumasu. Uh, when he attacks, you get to draw a card, and for the rest of the game, whenever you would take damage, instead it's just taken out of your life. So awesome, awesome, really cool. Uh, so for the one drops, we play for Gawasu because this guy searches literally everything in the deck, with the exception of extra cards and a couple other stuff that aren't gods. Uh, I think literally. I think four four cards in the entire deck are not aren't god, and I think that's actually our next one, which is do do uh, Balma God Tempter, and we play four of her uh, for our other one drop, because she searches uh, obviously the Weiss. We need the ramp for the blue deck, so that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys here. Pow pow do. do, do. Uh, and then for our two drop guys, we play the four boost attack Piccolo because he's just so good. Uh, it's a staple in every deck. Every time you play blue deck, you know, he's that 10k. So, I mean, not too much to say there. Uh, moving on, uh, the other two drop we play, Warrior of the Gods, Goku Black, obviously, his permanent ability. Um, he actually does not have indestructible. Um, it's kind of like indestructible. They can't KO him by skills and stuff. However, if you attack with him, they can attack over him. Or if they find a way to rest him, then they can attack over him. So, I mean, it's cool. But the main thing is you want him to survive so you can get your fusion off and things like that with your Zamasu. Which brings me to our th only three drop in the deck, Zamasu the Invincible. Yes, he says four. However, his permanent ability is as long as your Zamasu or uh, Goku Black is in our uh, leader area, uh, then he actually gets reduced by one, his cost. So because of that, he's a three drop, not a four drop in this deck. So, and he has Invincible. Um, overall, again, it's just to keep him on board for your Union Patara and things like that. Uh, so he, he's the three drop Zamasu. Four drop Zamasu, three drop in this deck. Uh, our next four drop, we have Whis for the energy ramp because he's so good. Super duper. Obviously, it's blue. You want to ramp up as much as possible. Not much to say there. Uh, and then next, we have three Boost Beerus. And I opted three instead of four. And the reason is because uh, the other four drop I play is the two Almighty Beam Fuse of Masu. These basically do pretty much the same thing. This guy pops and this guy returns. Both have their uses. This guy can be played with two, so I guess that makes him better. But you have to Union Patara, and most of the times I want to save the Union Patara for uh, later in the game. So I find the Beerus more useful, at least most of the time in, in the way I was playing the deck. Um, obviously, that's not going to be true for everybody. Some people prefer him. I just like Beerus more. So Let's go ahead and get this guy. Uh, next up we have our 6th drop, that's Zamasu the Alert God. Um, I didn't get him out too much in testing, but the times that I did get him out, it was pretty cool. Um, because most of the time I didn't really evolve him, I just played him because he also has Indestructible. Uh, and then he can negate attacks, so as long as you have a hand, he's negating attacks and uh, it just helps. Because you're trying to stall out the game and stop as much damage as possible to get to your 10 drop, or rather 7 Union Patara. And then, of course, the one uh, Joyful Strike Goku Black Rose. I do like it, and I totally understand. I wasn't playing this before, but Kitchen Table Meta made a great point where your opponent can slow you out at three cards, and uh, sometimes you just really need to you need to get you need to get there essentially. And this is a great way to do it, um, especially if you don't want to keep using Zamasu's you know ability and stuff. Um, yeah, you can do it to get down there, but like it can get really dangerous. So I, I totally got where, where he was coming from with that, and um, I added one into the deck just because. I think it is important just to at least play one so I have the option to. And it's a great card overall, so go ahead and get rid of that. So just one in my build. Uh, one I didn't see people playing, I really like it. Two Beerus, General of Demolition. 
Uh, it is a god. It can be searched by your stuff, obviously. You know, your Gawasus and things like that. Uh, and I do like him because he's a backup in case everything else fails. Um, and, and just having him and the 10 drop out, it's, it's just, it makes really, really good because then they're losing three cards. This makes them, they're going to discard two cards and you just have these powerhouses going on. One turn you play the 10 drop, maybe the next turn you play the 7 drop, you know, or vice versa. And, and it just keeps, I like it because it just keeps the game paced. Um, and it's, again, just, it's really pushing the game in your favor at this point. Uh, you're really winning the game. So I, I just really like Beerus, at least at two. Uh, and that way, uh, you just, you have another card other than the Infinite Force. And that brings me, of course, to the two Infinite Force Samasus, uh, which, of course, we use to win the game. He's indestructible, can't be removed from the field except by uh, Zeno the Plane God. Uh, when he attacks, they have to take a damage from their life. They have to take a card from their battle area, uh, take a card from their energy, and take a card from their hand and put it at the bottom of the deck. And they're losing a ton of cards like that, and that's every time he attacks. So he just attacks, attacks, attacks. Every turn, they're gonna be they're gonna be going down one, uh, and it's it's just uh, it's nuts. It really is. It, re it wins games because that's how good he is. Uh, 230k. I opted two instead of three. Uh, the main reason being that I, I think I don't want to overdo it. I think two is enough. Heck, usually one is enough, but two just in case. Um, and then the same thing again. That's why we play the two Beerus is because uh, uh, I like the four, the two and two here, as opposed to maybe like a three and one or something like that. So just having variety is nice, uh, but he's great. Um, that's all. That's it for the battle cards, guys. Moving on to the extra cards, we have Zeno Button, just one, and that's just you know you want to untap all your energy. Uh, so that's it for the zero drops. We have the coercion to negate. Um, not much to say there. You, you we use it just to negate. So negate things. Uh, we got the two sensu bean. Uh, I opted two instead of three or four because uh, I felt like it wasn't as necessary in this build. Um, I really had a lot of times where I wasn't using sensu bean, so I ended up cutting one. Um, just because I really didn't need it a lot of the times in the games that I was testing. Uh, obviously, three objection. Uh, again, you want that ramp. Uh, I'm not playing four uh, because I was testing four, and sometimes I had a little too much. Uh, I do like three, though. I, again, I might play four. Uh, it, it's always on and off, but I think right now I, I like three. Three is a very comfortable number for objection for me. So three of those. Uh, two Mafuba because, uh, again, it's another counter. We're negating, and then we're stopping abilities and stuff. So this really helps, and it's really good. Um, again, certain things, you just want to make them blank cards. Uh, next up, we have the two-time ring uh, as the last card. And this just lets us dig a bit harder. You know, we're trying to find our Zamasus and our Goku Blacks and stuff. So it's overall just a great dig card. If we have four more energy, we can find two. So I like it. All right, guys. Well, that was the entire build for Absolute God Fuse Zamasu. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Uh, maybe any suggestions, anything like that. Really, let's get a conversation going. If you, how do you guys think about this leader? I know a lot of people started building him. We started seeing things pop up and stuff. So I'm really excited to bring this uh, deck to you guys. Uh, please, guys, like that. Like this video. Press that like button. Subscribe. Get that notification button. See if we can. I'm trying. We're trying to hit 400 subscribers, guys, and beyond. So we can just keep going. Get some more uh, uh, Dragon Ball videos out for you guys. So, without any further ado, guys, my name is Jesse. This is Card Power Gaming. And thank you guys so much once again for your continued support. I definitely appreciate it. And all the, everybody here that helps me with these videos definitely appreciates it. So, guys, once again, what did you guys think about Zamasu? Please let me know. My name is Jesse, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.